But first, we begin with a live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. Mother Nature is socking southern New England with a one-two punch today. It's the same storm hitting once this morning and again this evening. We're taking a live look at the roads from our DOT cam in North Smithfield, where another mix of snow and rain has already arrived. We have live pinpoint weather team coverage tonight. T.J. Del Santo is live outside, where the flakes are just starting to fall again. But first, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the live pinpoint Doppler 12 forecast center. Well, Karen, any locations that have raindrops right now, a quick change over to all snow is likely as cold air starts to work in. This is round number two of uh, today's weather system as we take a peek outside, already snowing in uh, downtown Providence right now. And the temperatures are falling off, so untreated surfaces are going to become slippery as we dip below freezing. So one more band of moderate to, at times, briefly heavy snow right now through about 10 o'clock this evening. Additional accumulations on top of what we had this morning, which ranged anywhere from an inch to as much as four inches in the uh, northern part of the state. Take a look at uh, live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and one band of snow pinwheeling up towards uh, New Hampshire, but a second batch in the Connecticut River Valley starting to work in. That is the back edge of the uh, storm system that will take until about 10 o'clock to uh, finally move out to sea. And again, additional accumulations likely on top of what fell already. We'll take a closer look at that. The full seven-day future cast, all the details coming up in just a bit. All right, thank you, Tony. Our live pinpoint weather team coverage continues now. The kids home on school vacation were certainly excited. See the snow start falling this morning, and now there's even more on its way right now. Meteorologist T.J. Del Santo joins us now live in Smithfield with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Karen, we had a lull in the precipitation really throughout much of the day. The snow has picked up in intensity over the last hour or so. We're tracking that on the live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather mobile. In terms of the impact on the evening commute, really not seeing much of an impact. The roadway is still more wet than white. Now, we spoke to a number of people about the prospects of more snow tonight, and, well, we got mixed feelings up here in northern Rhode Island. In the usual snow belt of Rhode Island, Gloucester, Boroughville, on over to Woonsocket, this storm was considered unimpressive. This is nothing. In fact, most roads were just wet as temperatures hovered around the freezing mark. It's a wet, heavy snow. Not too, too bad. Not yet. <laughs> but uh, easy enough to scrape up and shovel and get rid of. For the kids up in Boroughville, there was just enough snow to enjoy this day of February vacation. It's like going down a roller coaster because it's all bones, and then you go flying. Wow! Yeah! In North Smithfield, where two to three inches fell, roads were fine, and crews were hard at work clearing parking lots. And in Woonsocket, Norm Malo is on parking lot patrol. He says he expects to be out plowing until at least midnight. He likes the extra cash, but says enough's enough. After a certain time, after a while, you get tired of it. It's like, enough is enough. We're just about approaching that point. Yeah, when you get to the end of the winter, you do. And the uh, Pinpoint Weather Mobile giving us a temperature reading of 33 degrees up here in Greenville. Obviously, as the temperatures fall throughout the night, we'll be running into some more slick conditions across northern Rhode Island, probably across the rest of the uh, southern New England area. Reporting live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, I'm T.J. Del Santo, Eyewitness News.